Now I have something to do on the weekends. But you don't the, even have to perform on a weekend. No, no, no. I could still perform on you Tuesdays and Wednesdays Tuesday. uh -huh. or Thursdays. But I, the whole thing seems taxing yeah. to me. Traveling. I'm at a point right now in my life where I want to be home a little more. Mm -hmm. The world's not in a fucking great place right now. I enjoy doing my shows in the city. When I go to the city with you, that's a good time. Mm -hmm. And that's what I can handle right now. What's going to happen next July, next August? I don't know. But for right now, I'm just getting my bearings back. I don't, I didn't want to get into this from day one. I didn't want to go nowhere I was before with the podcast or with the stand up career. Mm -hmm. I wanted to cut it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it to be 20 hours a day. Mm -hmm. This was 20 hours a day mm -hmm. in my life for the last 30 fucking years. Not for the last 12 years, it's mm -hmm. been 20 hours a fucking day. And it's not performing or doing things. It's the mental. Mm -hmm. It's the thinking and the, the jokes. and the, You know, you're not a, a, a feature anymore. Mm -hmm. People are actually paying $40 to come see you, a babysitter, a dinner. You can't go up there, like, just treat them like that. So, And that's why you're so good. Because you're not thinking of you when you're on that stage. No. The best comics are thinking about the audience. I'm thinking about the audience, mm -hmm. man. I don't I under I don't like what's going on today. Mm -hmm. I don't like that audiences are paying two hundred dollars to see a comic mm -hmm. or two ninety nine. That's absurd. Mm -hmm. These comics can make a living on thirty dollar tickets just mm -hmm. like I fucking mm -hmm. did for years. So I always think about the audience. I want them Jesus Christ, when a comic tells me that I haven't written a joke in a year. I'm done with you. Mm -hmm. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I told my wife, that. how can nothing happen in a year? Right. Nothing. Right. That's what you're telling me, that nothing happened in your life in a fucking year. Tell me about the car that sped by your house mm -hmm. that almost hit your fucking kid. You know, tell me something. Something has had to happen. So when you think like that, you always got to be uh, on top of it. When you're writing and stuff, I don't right. have that no more. I have a child now. I have a wife now. I could be writing and my child will come up to me and go, Dad, you want to go play basketball? Mm -hmm. I can't just go, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. I'm writing a joke. I can't mm -hmm. do that no more. Can't do that no more. So, I'm like I said, I'm doing the best and the most that I can do right and now. And that's it. And that's it. Do I think about getting on a plane on a Friday night, on a Thursday, and doing that second show? No. no. That ship no. sailed. No, no. Um, I considered even doing a Friday night tour, a Saturday night tour, like just Saturday mm -hmm. nights. But so no what I want, mm -hmm. how I want to do it is not how most people want to do it. It would cost a lot more because I'm not doing fucking commercial flights anymore. Oh. I'm not doing them of for course. a tour. I'm not doing them. So if somebody wants to do a tour, I'll, I'll even take less money and to figure out a right. way just to fucking get out of there after my show. Mm -hmm. Get off stage at 11, you're on a plane at fucking 11.15. Mm -hmm. Like Rogan did Atlantic City, which Segura does every night. They get out of that town. Mm -hmm. They get to the next town the next day. That's what I would like to do. But I, I, first of all, I never liked doing Tuesday through Saturday. Mm -hmm. This whole last run I did was never. It was always Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday. That's it. No Sundays. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, I don't have time for you. You know, I, I don't mm -hmm. mind doing the city on a Wednesday. Right. I, I go to the stand tonight with you right. or Danger Fields, but that's where I am right now. Mm -hmm. That's where I am. I still love comedy like I did when I first got on that stage. I still love it. It's just I had to love it in a different way now. I have more people to love. Mm -hmm. When I got into comedy, and, and, and I knew this in LA, I don't know how many nights I would be at dinner and she just said prayers. And I got to get dressed, go to the store and talk about eating ass and shooting somebody. And, you know, it's like, and then you start thinking about the mafia. <clears throat> How you join the mafia when you're 18 mm -hmm. or 23 or 24 because you're shooting people. You don't give mm -hmm. a fuck about shooting right. people. But then you bump into a beautiful girl at the deli and you have beautiful children with her. And now I got to go shoot somebody and go take my daughter to church tomorrow. Take it to the daddy-daughter dance I, it was surreal to me. That's what I would feel like. I'd be there watching the same prayers and with the same, in my mind, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go down to the comedy store. I'm going to smoke some dope. And I'm right. like, I can't do this no more. It just wasn't working. So I have a lot more people that need my attention now. Mm -hmm. I'm not the, you know, guys, I, comedy is never growing up. 
Stand up gives you the permission to never grow up. Mm -hmm. And I love that about mm -hmm. stand up because I never wanted to grow up. Mm -hmm. If you become a comedian, it's because you don't want to grow up. Mm -hmm. I became a comedian because I liked it, like you mm -hmm. liked watching it. Mm -hmm. But when I read Lenny Bruce's book, mm -hmm. I liked the fact that when I read that book, I was lost. I was a criminal, I was a drug addict. He hung out at a strip club and then he went to the Chelsea Hotel and he went to sleep and he shot heroin with jazz musicians. That's what I wanted. I didn't want to shoot heroin, right. but I wanted to right. snort coke and right. drink all night. Right. And part, and especially in New York, what a dream. Mm -hmm. It would be to leave your house. Like, if I was a comic that slept all day, oh, right. get up at seven, mm -hmm. eat some Chinese food, smoke some pot, make some calls, and then leave at 10 o'clock at night and just attack New York? Mm -hmm. Come on, dog. Mm -hmm. That's a dream come true. Stop at two, go get a slice of pizza, go with Tara, get mm -hmm. a late steak somewhere mm -hmm. in the village, and then you go home at five in the morning, and there's another party going on at the Chelsea Hotel. Coke, bitches, strippers, right. who wouldn't dream right. of that? That's a fucking paradise. That's right. a. That's why I got into comedy, because it gave me permission. To be yourself. Not to grow up. Mm -hmm. When you get into comedy, how many bills you got? <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Like I told Lisa, yeah, you ever see somebody come up on an open mic with a Lamborghini? Right, right. Nobody ever pulls no. up on a Lamborghini on an open mic, right? Everywhere else. You could be in a coffee mm -hmm. shop, beep, beep. Nobody ever pulls up on a Lamborghini. So I, I didn't have anything when I got into comedy. And now I have people. Like I never thought. I always thought I was going to die like Charles Bronson. Like alone in my house, you know, in a basement apartment with a cat. Drinking from a bowl, like in, in hard times. There is times. a cat, but that's it. That's the only... But then all these things came that take your time, your health. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're a comic, you don't really think about health. Not till yeah. I met Joe Rogan. You're on the road. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time Rogan goes, you want to work out? I'm on the road, bitch. What mm -hmm. workout? Your body, your health, all these things come in. And the honest to God truth, I don't want to go out like Bob Saget. No. I don't want to die in a hotel room, guys. No. Not now. 20 years ago, I wanted to die in a hotel room with a naked woman sitting on my face. But now, I want to die right here. And you found your balance. I and found and my this balance. is And this is, this is the gift. And I still After love stand-up. After 30 years, right. Yeah, I still love stand-up. I have to find a different way to do it. Mm -hmm. And if it means going to Uncle Vinny's on Thursdays mm -hmm. for a year mm -hmm. and doing the New York, uh, the Sony Theater, Sony Hall once a month, mm -hmm. so be it. Once I get more room. Listen, Chappelle took off eight years. Oh, yeah. And he waited to his kids. In two mm -hmm. years, my daughter's not going to want to do nothing with me. Mm -hmm. Already I told him I have to go to Cincinnati it's for this movie. And she's like, that's okay, Dad. I'll just come and visit you. That was not her stance. Right. That was not the two response he ago. wanted either. Yeah. <laughs> that was not her stance two months ago. Right. So I know in two years, she's going to go, Dad, you can do whatever you want. Now. Mm -hmm. And... I'll take more advantage of that, you know? Mm. Who knows what the future brings? But today, this is the best I could do. Because you, you found how to be in the present. And that's not, that's something we, you get, you, as a new comic, you're never going to get that. No. And as a 32-year-old loser, I was never going to get that. As a 44-year-old mm -hmm. loser, I wasn't going to get that. I needed somebody, something to happen mm -hmm. to make me overhaul everything. And it was that little girl. I mean, I love being here. I love the softball game. Last night, I was the only dad at softball practice. I sat by myself. The moms were yakking. You know, that's what moms do. I sat by myself. I love all this Isn't shit. that a beautiful place to be when you can be calm like that? Did you ever think years ago you could just be sitting at a softball? Like, even now, like I drive by one, my husband would be like, you ready for that? You want kids? You ready? And I'd be like, you and your mother better be ready because I ain't doing that. I'm going to be in comedy clubs every night. I'm not doing that. So I'm not ready for that at my age. I, I long, like, for what you're saying, believe it or not, I long for that level. Even oh, if it's please. not with a kid, with a, a level of peace that I don't think I have yet because I'm still climbing and I'm still digging and finding myself. You don't want peace. I don't. You think I was looking for peace when I was 45? But, I, but I, there is a part of me that says, like, I'm listening to you say that, and I'm like, that's got to be so peaceful. I don't have that level of peace. I've, I have to take things to have that level of peace. Listen, man, I had to. <laughs> But I also had to make sacrifices. Right. Like, it was very rough to lose the comedy salary. Oh. It was very rough. Mm -hmm. But I looked at my wife and I go, we'll make it work. I'll put more albums on Sirius. Mm -hmm. You know, there's always mm -hmm. shit you could do, you know. But you have to close one door before another one opens. And people don't understand that when they, like, they want their life to change, your life's not going to change no matter how much you want it. 
You have to make sacrifices, and then life will make sacrifices. The universe will make sacrifices, and you'll meet in the middle. For me to attain this peace and to be able to go to sleep at 11 again, mm -hmm. I look at my whoop watch, and I sleep till fucking 8, and I'm getting REM sleep again. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah I know. For me to attain that, I couldn't attain it by going on the road every night. So I had to give something up. And I gave up the thing that most people can't give up mm -hmm. is money. I stepped away from the money. If the money's in the universe, it'll come to you. Mm -hmm. Whether you do this, I might hit the lotto tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You don't know. I might mm -hmm. hit 60 million and go, I told you. I had money right. coming to me, cocksucker. Right. Right. What I tell you? <laughs> so we always have money coming to us when you're a good person and you do good things. The universe will smile down on you. But I had to cut away a lot of stuff that made me joy. I, I narrowed down my stand-up to what was going on. Let's be honest, since we're being honest today. Mm -hmm. And I want, want you young comics to learn something. I wasn't addicted to comedy anymore. There was nothing about comedy I liked. Towards the end, there was nothing about comedy that made me want... I, I didn't want to go, oh, I can't wait to try that new joke in front of Tara. Mm -hmm. She's going to love it. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to try that new joke in front of Mike. I would get on a plane with the sole exceptions. Can't wait for Saturday night to put that check in my hand for the theaters. I got addicted to the check. Mm -hmm. and, and I became a different person when the check was put in my hand. Once the check was put in my hand, the weekend ended. Don't I don't want to take no more pictures. I don't want to talk about comedy mm -hmm. no more. I mean, I was dead serious about it. People never understood that because that's not who I... It just mm -hmm. wasn't working. Mm -hmm. I was doing everything off that check. The only thing I did that was pure was go do my $15 set at the comedy store. That's what kept me pure. But everything else was too out there for me. I wanted to get that love back. And until I get that desire back, mm -hmm. like I told you that at mm -hmm. 7 o'clock I'm telling my wife, where the fuck is dinner? I got to get the fuck out of here to go to mm -hmm. the stress factory mm -hmm. or Dino's or mm -hmm. Gotham. When that happens, mm -hmm. I'll call you and let you know. Mm -hmm. But that's not what it, the case has been. I miss doing comedy. I miss it. I miss the comedy store. Mm -hmm. I miss the comedy store. But I have to just see where I'm at, and I'll come back to it. Or you move from here. I, I already proved my point. I proved my point. I didn't. To me, I couldn't keep going back on the road. I, I was starting to see that already with my mm -hmm. friends. I learned that from Ralphie. How many times are you going to go to Columbus, Ohio? How many times are you going to go to Houston, Texas? Mm -hmm. And we try to hide it with different venues. Oh, this one time we'll do mm -hmm. the improv. And it'll be this different. Time, yeah, time. different experience. And then we'll, we'll, they get you another theater. Then they get you a bigger, bigger mm -hmm. theater. Then they get you a bigger, bigger theater. Now you're in a fucking arena, which is not good. I don't want to do comedy in a fucking arena. It's more personalized for me. So I didn't want to even to get that way. Like I, when I was seeing these guys going into an arena, I go, that would be nice. That's a payday. But at the same time, you sacrifice. You, you sacrifice the real art of comedy. Mm -hmm. People are watching you on a fucking screen. And you're missing so much. And you're missing so mm -hmm. much. So I don't want people to miss that. The same way I enjoy life, the live experience, I want to give people that live mm -hmm. experience. It's intimate, yeah. The intimate, you know, 500 seats. I could probably put it, anybody knows, I could probably sell another 1,000 tickets every night. Yeah. I don't want to do that. In fact, I wish Sony Hall was 350. I wish it was 250 sometimes because I would have more control. I could start from there again. I don't want to go up in front of a 2,000-seat arena. I don't know. I started at Uncle Dino's for a reason, Uncle Vinny's. Mm -hmm. I'm dealing with 140 people. And if it's a bad night, we'll have 80. We never had a bad night, so mm. we can work with that. So that's where I'm at. And listen. That's where I'm at. <laughs> you have to make sacrifices mm -hmm. and you have to your life is not going to change you have to make the initial things and yeah after I said no I ate dick for three or four months you know like money wasn't coming in mm -hmm. but at the same time then movies started coming in and other things started coming in why because you got to close one door before another one opens and now when I'm ready I'll go back to stand up when right. I'm ready to go and I could be the most effective thing in the world but right now I can't I don't have it but you have it to do other things the rewards are endless in other ways whether it's the softball game for you or, or doing an audition or getting a, a new part there's other op you know it's it's from one thing came another let me tell you something I've had more auditions in the last six weeks than I've had the last ten years for years mm -hmm. do you see what I'm saying so in the years like when I was in mm -hmm. LA I would get three or four auditions in a year 
or some of you make an offer. Here, at least, I'm getting mm -hmm. set. Like, in the last six six weeks, I've probably gotten seven auditions because the agency realized they're not going to get blood out of a turnip. <laughs> See, there's a value over my head. Mm -hmm. They're going to get that value from me. Mm -hmm. But if I shoot them down with the road, that's why else I did this. Right. To pick their fucking up. I'm not going on your road. So you can take that week and shut up your ass. Get me some auditions. Mm -hmm. And that's what they did. I forced their hand. <clears throat> so there's always a method right. to the madness. It's like the great Nietzsche said. Didn't Nietzsche mm -hmm. say this? A know. man without a plan is not a man. I like it. I'm really proud of you I for what you're doing. Thank you, Joey, for having I'm gonna me. I'm going to try to come you. down. Thank with, you. Both shows start at 930? One, Friday's 9 and Saturday's 9. Both of them are 9. 9, yeah. okay. So Uncle Vinny's... Fucking uh, Friday and Saturday. I wish you all luck in the Thank world. You. You're fucking a sweet lady. Thank you. You're funny as fuck. Thank and you. And I can see you taking over this motherfucker. Let's fucking do in it. Five or six years. <laughs> Keep uh, doing what you're doing. Thank you. I, I love, love you, motherfuckers. Don't forget Tara. Where can they find you? Tara Jokes everywhere. Because nobody can say my last name. Tara so Jokes. Tara Jokes my, my, is my website. Tara Jokes Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Okay.